Uncle Joe here at Southern Coastal Cooking. I want to make one of my all-time favorite dishes here. I've just been in the mood for some real good, good Cajun food, Creole style. Um, we're going to do a crawfish and shrimp étouffée, all right? This is one of my personal favorites. Really, really good. I want y'all to look down here, okay, and uh, just have a look. What we're doing right now is, first off, we're going to make a roux, okay? That's what we got to do. I've got... A half a cup of oil, use peanut oil here, and a stick of unsalted butter. I like to make my roux first, okay, and bake them in a different pan so I can add it as I need it. So well, this is what we're gonna call a two beer roux. Have a blonde roux, not quite as dark as you put in the gumbo or something like that. So I got a cup of flour that I'm adding to this. And we're just going to sit here and stir it in, stir it in, and make this roux. And this roux probably takes about 15 minutes to make, and we just keep on stirring in, y'all. If y'all just watch see I'm sitting here just whisking, stirring this flour, stirring this flour on medium heat here. Let me turn it down just a little bit. And we're just cooking this, this roux here. We're going to make it real good. All right, y'all, just got a couple minutes left. That's the color you want to get on a roux. Just kind of that peanut butter color. I'm going to turn the heat off here and let it kind of cool down as I stir it. And we'll set this aside while we do the rest. All right, y'all. So I got my big blue pot out that I love. I take some duck fat. Okay, spray. And we get duck fat all up in there. Oh, yeah. Now we're about to get in here with our trinity. Now, you know I do bust up onion, bell pepper, and uh, celery. And I freeze it like this. You cut up, put it on a cookie sheet, and you can freeze it. And it's a lot easier. So I'm going to get some of that in there. I got another bag with some more in it. And I'll come right back to you. Okay, so add a little bit more of this. Now, this is some uh, that I bought from the store. You can actually buy it just like that. Kroger, Miracle style. So that's nice. So however you want to do it. Now, to bust that up, we'll turn it on the medium heat, and we'll let this saute, saute on down, y'all. So we'll get good. Alright y'all, let's rock and roll now with some more ingredients. Petite diced tomatoes. Uh, this is optional. This is kind of a Creole flair to it. A little can drain, but I prefer this in there, okay? Depends on what you want. So stir that in. Then we'll start rolling in with some uh, seasoning. Got a, about a tablespoon of just minced garlic with that. Okay, roll that in there. And then what we want to do is uh, go in with our uh, powdered seasoning, all right? Bezels, of course, y'all know I love Bezels. I've got some Bezels, about a tablespoon and a half. I've got about a tablespoon and a half of Old Bay, okay? We've got about a uh, tablespoon and a half of Amazing Cajun from Heaven Made Products, all right? All that is going in here, all right? So we'll stir all that in, let this simmer a few more minutes. And this is just, I mean, adding all this flavor right here. We'll just flavor the veggies. And oh, it smells wonderful. All right, y'all, now the vegetables, tomatoes and everything seasoned has been sa sauteed for a few minutes. Kind of just want to cook a lot of that water out of there. And we'll add that roux back in, okay? I've had the roux in this little glass container, because then we want to get burned or anything like that won't kind of cool but you want to add your roux in at this time make sure you get all of it good stuff there all right so got my roux stir it into the vegetables it's going to get real thick real quick now that's what roux does Is that just clotting around the vegetables and everything like that okay now what we're going to come in with is some seafood stock. I've got about eight cups of this seafood stock we're going to put in there. This is good stuff. I use this in my gumbos too. All right. We'll kind of just stir it in as it goes. Good seafood stock here, okay. Stir that in. You know, that roux's going to be kind of lumpy at first, but that's fine because we're putting cold stock in here, you know, room temperature. Um, 
Not done the whole eight cups quite yet. I'm gonna put in about I don't know, that was four cups, four, five, six cups or so, and we'll let that kind of see how it's gonna do as far as thickening. And we'll stir it around, just bring this back up to a simmer, and we'll add the uh, the rest of the stock as needed. All right, y'all. So I've been letting it simmer here for about 15 minutes, and you see how it's kind of thick. That's what you want before we add the shrimp. Okay. I've got about two pounds of Gulf shrimp, medium size, just smaller size shrimp you see here. Let me show you what size I'm talking about. This is what you want for that to fail, all right? So uh, we'll pour the shrimps down in here. And these shrimp, I'm going to stir them in. They're going to release a good deal of water, so it's going to thin out a good bit. So we're just going to let this simmer, sit here and stir it for about 10 minutes, and check back with it. Almost forgot, as you add the shrimp, you want to add your heavy cream, okay? I've got 16 ounces of heavy cream. Uh, let me get a measuring cup. Probably don't want to add all 16, but uh, let's see what we'll do here. Cup here. Eight ounces. I'm going to stir this in and see what it looks like. This is heavy cream really going to bring out this etouffee, y'all. Wonderful. Throw that in there. Okay. And I might add another half, about a half a cup or so. There we go. All right. We need uh, just let that bring it up and let it come to a good simmer. Y'all, this is going to be magnificent. All right, y'all. So now the shrimp have been cooking here for about mm, five or ten minutes until they're starting to get done. I'm gonna add two pounds of Louisiana Cajun certified crawfish tail meat, okay? That's what you want. Oh, you had a good stuff. Put that down in there. We'll bust that up, stir it up, simmer it for about 15 more minutes. All right, y'all, for the last five minutes or so to simmer, I like to add the green onions. Bust it up on a good stalk of green onions and just stir those on in. But that's real good for the last five minutes. All right, y'all, so it is done. We're about to get ready to serve it up. It looks delicious. All right, y'all, so let's taste this at the fat. Looks wonderful. Look at it right there. Oh, man, I'm telling you what. Oh, it smells just glorious, too. It's a good shrimp, piece of crawfish on there. We want everything. A little bit of rice. There we go. Mm. 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 That's amazing. Wonderful taste there. Y'all gonna try it. Say too fast, not hard to make. Thank y'all so much. Please like my videos, sell my channel, check out the good folks over at Buzel's. and made products, all that good stuff. Thank y'all. God, God bless. I gotta get back to this. Ain't too fast. Y'all have a good one.